Hello. Uh, hold on, I don't want this thing to be so big. I do not want it to be big. Hello there. It's Thick Bay, and I'm here with another video. I had a few people ask me on how I do my outlines, and uh, you're not gonna like it. <laughs> but yeah, what you can see on the screen right there uh, is kind of the basics. So let me get rid of the hair. The hair is on a whole nother layer. So pretty much this is how it is. I start with a base, just like that. And once I get the body the way I like it, I will add the clothes. And once I have the clothes the way I like them, hold on, I zoomed out too much. <laughs> then I'll add the hair and then I'll add the face. You see how everything is on a different layer over here? That's how I do it, and I kind of layer my drawings. And then when I have everything the way I like it, I erase the bits that aren't supposed to be there. Like the head part that was up here, the shoulder, the hip part that was right there. And that's all merged together. I keep the face on a different layer too, because when I'm coloring, it makes it a lot easier. I can just grab my little uh, mm, auto select tool, and I just... Uh, ooh, hold on a minute. I just click my outline layer and I just womp and it's selected. But if I merge my face with the outline, it makes it a lot more difficult. You see how it didn't highlight up here? Yeah, that gets to be a little annoying. So I keep my face on a different layer. And that's how I do the basics of my outline. You see, so here it is again. There's the body, there's the hair, there's the outfit, and then there's the face. And then once I have it all done, it all merges together. This next bit is an entirely different drawing, but I'm gonna take you through how I do it, pretty much. You're gonna watch and see the process of drawing the outline, drawing the pose, and then once I have the pose the way I like it, you'll see me drawing the clothes and you'll see me drawing the hair. All on different layers, of course. I know you're going to judge me on this video because I do them a bit strangely, a bit differently. But, you know, it works out for me well. I like to layer it. I like to draw the pose. And then I like it because <laughs> I don't have the brain capacity for it. <laughs> I've tried. I just can't seem to do it. But this seems to work for me, and it might work for you too. So you can see right now I'm working on the head. So I like to start there. I have drawn the ears, I've drawn the face shape, I've drawn the basic head proportions, and I like it. And then I slowly start chiseling out how I want the body to look. And I smooth out the edges of my messy lines that I have. <laughs> and... You know, it's okay to make your changes to it. It takes me a while to figure out what I really want it to look like as I go along. But that's kind of how I do it. I just kind of build. See, I have the torso done there. And I'm going to tweak it and tweak it until I like the way it looks. And then I'll add the arms and then I'll add the legs. And then once we're at that part where we have the arms and the legs and everything ready, we can start adding other elements to the drawing. We're gonna start on the arms, woo, woo. So I like to start at the shoulder, of course, and then I go down. I'm gonna have the hand on the hip kind of holding on to like her little uh, belt she's going to be wearing. So it's important to angle her arm down like that. And remember, one of the most important things when drawing is when something doesn't look right, make sure to figure out what it is and fix it. Study pictures of anatomy. That's a big thing, understanding how the body works, like muscles and joints and stuff. Because I used to draw my elbows really bad. <laughs> if you've watched any of my old videos, you know what I'm talking about. And there we go, there's the outline for the pose. So we're gonna start layering either clothing, hair, on top of this. Just make a couple subtle changes and you'll be good to go. So I'm starting on the clothes right now. The way I like to do my clothes is I like to layer it. 
and I kind of erase it and I make little changes as I go along. I don't just do one big basic sketch and then outline it. You can see I'm working on the belt right now and other little things she has attached to her belt. Next, I'll be doing the shirt and the pants and her shoes. And then once the clothing outlines are done, we can start on other things. But it's okay, just make sure to take your time on it. Like, the whole time I probably spent on this drawing, just the outline part, probably three hours. So this condensed down. It doesn't look like that much, but it's okay to make changes as you go along. You kind of see how I'm doing that there? Little changes. If you don't like something, get rid of it. It's okay. So just keep adjusting things, keep adding new things that you think would look good. Make sure to add the little lips on there. Oh, that didn't make any sense, did it? The little lips. The little lips. <laughs> All right, we're about to start on the pants. A big thing when doing clothing is to kind of have your, how do I explain it? Have it go over like a little lip over the lines of the waist. Can you kind of see with the shirt, like all over, every like part of the shirt that like uh, has like an opening, you can see it kind of like floops over and there's like a little lip. So make sure to add that lip to your pants over the sides so it's not just a straight line that goes down. I find that really helps make the clothing look wunderbar. And here we're drawing a little uh, pouch, a little purse thing. I always like adding those to my belts because I think they look cute. An important thing when adding little uh, things like the purse and like the shoulder stuff is adding little details that you normally wouldn't really think about. Like I added little lines on the purse's side to show its stitch work. Little things like that can really make a drawing look more alive and pop out a bit more than it would have if you wouldn't have added those little details. Even just adding the laces on the boots can really make a big difference in an artwork. If you've been paying attention at all, you can kind of see how I've been smoothing out the edges as I've been drawing the clothes and the pose. That way, I don't have to outline it. When I'm done, it's already outlined. Mm -hmm, it is my hack. And there you can see I was erasing uh, where the skin was going to be. I also like to do that as I go because I kind of feel like it gets rid of the extra clutter, the extra lines. And it really helps me out when I'm drawing to not get confused. I'm drawing the horns real quick. And then once I'm done with those, we're going to start on the hair. The hair is pretty fun. I, I think drawing the hair is one of the most enjoyable parts of drawing. So you got to make a new layer. And then you kind of got to... <sighs> God, I don't even know how to explain how I do the hair. It takes me a while to do it. Well, to start, 9 times out of 10, I start with the bangs. And then once I frame the face with the bangs and the little side pieces, then I will start on the back. If it has a lot of volume, I will make it very big. But if it is very silky and smooth, it's just kind of going to dangle down. So you got to think of what kind of hair you're going to be drawing. And it's going to make a big difference on the end result of what kind of hair you are drawing. And then after I'm finished with the hair and the pose and the clothes, it is my favorite part. We are about to draw the face. Ooh, I love drawing the face. There's so many fun things you can do with it. So for this particular character, she's gonna have more narrow-ish eyes instead of my regular big open ones. The eyes should really reflect the character's personality. The character I'm drawing now is a little mean, she's a bit stern, and she's pretty unimpressed with things. So we're going to try and show that with the expression the best that we can. And I think we did a good job on that. The lips and the eyes really show that, I think. And there we go. You see, there's the outline. There's the face. And there is what the body looks like. You can see... 
I didn't have to put too much effort into it and neither do you for it to look good and I also have the color here boing so I hope you learned something new today this is how I do my outlines maybe you will do it this way or maybe you'll keep doing it the way you normally do everyone can do it differently and that is okay thank you for watching Goodbye.